snatch his man. It's an onion party, and who likes to party? No one but the onion, because the onion party. Ooh, you don't like it like that? We'll put a ring on it. An onion ring on it. What's up, guys? Thanks for checking out my channel. If you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button with the notification bell on. If you like this video, give it a huge thumbs up. And if you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comments below. It's like this, like later. We're adding the filet of the iguana that's been lightly salted. Fettuccine iguana Ooh. Alfredo. Your show, you were catching some Godzilla looking creature. Dude, I tried. There's some monsters out here, man. Chill, I'm jamming. I feel you, bro. Dude, uh, I need some help, man. Yeah. There's a lot of big iguanas out here, but I'm by myself. I was wondering if maybe you can give me a hand. You know what? I'm from this neck of the woods, and let me tell you that we got the lockiest brush up in this place. I want to help you catch that sucker. Yeah. The green iguana is a large lizard not native to Florida. Hatchlings of the green iguana usually have bright green colorations. Now, adults can range from color to green to brown and almost black. Although they are predominantly green, as they mature, some of these adults take on a orange or pink coloration during the breeding season. Mature males have heavy jowls and throat fans or a dewlap. These are much larger than the female iguanas. Now, the larger the throat fan, the bigger it makes the iguana to appear. Now, this is going to help him attract females and also ward off rival iguanas. Female iguanas may choose to breed with the male that has the biggest dewlap. The throat fan also helps regulate the iguana's body temperature. Green iguanas can live on the ground, in the shrubs, or in the trees in a variety of different habitats, including suburban developments here and you guys just seen me and exotic yayo just caught an iguana right here oh <laughs> uh, shout out to walmart for hooking us up with this really really awesome grill right here check it out it's got a wind guard it's got two burners fettuccine iguana Ooh. alfredo super easy right here just a quick installation boom fuego hey -o! Dude, please tell me you got a lighter. Please tell me. You got one? Coming in with that fuego. Oh, hey yeah! Oh, here. You got to add some salt whenever you're cooking rice or pasta so it doesn't stick. Also seasons the pasta as well. Our fettuccine Alfredo right here. What we're going to do is go ahead, open her up. Boom. Booyah. Uh-oh. We got a couple stragglers. Get them in there. Nice. Be ready in 11 to 12 minutes. Would you look at that? So you guys just seen us catch those iguanas. Now, we're actually gonna be making some iguana fettuccine Alfredo. Yummy, yummy. This dish is known for having it with chicken, all right? But we're gonna switch it up a little bit, guys. We are gonna introduce some reptile meat. As you guys see, we have generous chunks of iguana meat right here. Eat this like this, like later. Like, a generous portion of iguana meat. We got our knife. What you're gonna do is go down the skin. Pop the skin. No, I'm kidding, it's already dead. Pop the skin just like that. Skin away. Don't worry, if there's some flesh that gets stuck in the skin, don't worry, we can get all that. That's no problem. He puts the knife, we're gonna hold it against the bone. We're gonna carve that iguana meat just like that, right off the bone, like how you would a piece of chicken. And look how beautiful colored that flesh is right there. Oh my gosh. Again, on the other side, just carve down. Just like that. All this right here is pure boneless iguana meat. Hit it with a little seasoning right here, basic essentials of the salt. Make sure that it cooks good, you know? Doom, 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 Whatever doom. was like in there before causing any bacteria is gone now after you dump the whole ocean on that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Almost told me iguana is salty, but I think this one's just seasoned. Wine ah! oil, right out the water bottle, bee snatches. Uh, we are gonna pour this in the pan. They gotta tell me when though, because I use butter, not oil. 
Oh, yeah! We're cooking with stew sauce and iguana, man, motherfucker! Uh! This kitchen, three times as hot! Uh! Googly mooglies, people! We got onion, we gonna dump it all up in here. Ooh, splatter, splatter, it's hot! Ooh, yeah, baby! Mm. Mm. Onion to the party! It's an onion party, and who likes the party? No one but the onion, because the onion party! Ooh! You don't like it like that? We'll put a ring on it. An onion ring on it! Mm. <laughs> I've eaten the baby iguana in front of its parents. <laughs> Gosh, man, it's getting a nice, sweet aroma just being kicked up in the air. I feel Dude. like Spidey senses look better, biznatch. Mm. Get caramelized right now, huh? Oh, yeah. We didn't even put any caramel in there. Check. This ain't no snicker bar. <laughs> this ain't no Milky Way. This ain't a Twix. <laughs> Caramelized. What are they talking about? <laughs> this is onionized. Oxygenized. Beauty fatty 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 foamized. Stir it up. Need a darling. Stir it up. Blah! Smells like a Bob Marley song out here. Bob Marley smoked onion. Ooh. Sizzle, sizzle, mo frizzle. So right now guys, we have the onions, they done sweated a little bit. We're adding the filet of the iguana that's been lightly salted. <laughs> we did it, si se puede, man. Dora the Explorer doesn't even make stuff like this, man. This ain't in backpack, but if it was, I could understand why Swiper was swiping, baby. Sure, it's not done yet. Squirrel on it. Squirrel's next. <laughs> the squirrel is next. I would eat squirrel. We gotta catch one. Let's do it. If you guys wanna see us catch a squirrel and do a catch and cook, let us know in the comments below. Stu Sauce is down to eat anything that doesn't run faster than him. <laughs> Alright, guys, so phone's about to die, so uh, we're gonna have to cut the episode here. You guys be on the lookout for that second video. Sorry, guys, we have no other choice but to cut the video here. Deuces, Mojamas. <laughs>